Okay, so here is a question for you. Find the exact value of cot 7 pi over 4. So we need to find the exact value of this. So how do we do it? You can pause the video and find the answer. Okay, so there we go. So what we're going to do is um, we have to convert this angle from radian to degrees. So now converting from radian to degrees, what we have to do is we get 7 pi over 4 times we say 180 divided by pi. Now this is when converting the radian into degree. Now if you are trying to convert, for example, let's say we have 30 degrees. We are trying to convert this into lad, radian. What we have to do is to get a 30 degrees times the pi on top over 180. Okay. So now let's go ahead and find the uh, the 7 pi over 4 in degree. So what we're going to do is, we have this, we know that pi and pi will cancel. Okay, the next thing we're going to have is uh, uh, 4 into 180 is 45, 45 times 7 is going to give us 315. So we have a cot 315 degrees. Now we need to find the terminal angle for 315 degrees. Now what it means there is that whenever we're talking about the terminal angle, this is what we mean. If this is the xy plane, we know that this is the first quadrant, second, third, this is fourth. Where can we find 315? 315 can be found in the third, in the fourth quadrant. Okay? So in the fourth quadrant, that's where we can find the 315. So it's going to be here. Okay? So from here all the way to there, that is our 315 degrees. But we are trying to come up with the terminal angle. Okay? So the terminal angle is the angle between the x-axis and the point of interest. Now the point of interest is this angle. Now the x-axis which we have here is this. Okay? So from this all the way to there, that will be our terminal angle. Meaning that for us to find that one, we need to say 360 minus 315, which is going to give us a 45. Okay? Meaning that we can say that this is the same as 14, 45. But before we continue, let's say we have, um, let's say we have 210. Let's, let's assume to say 210 is our angle. Okay? So we know that 210 is found in the third quadrant. It's there or the way to there. So our terminal angle is there. So to find the terminal angle, the terminal angle is the angle between the x-axis and the point of interest, meaning that this line all the way to there, this is our terminal angle. So now what we need to do is uh, to find that one, let's say this is 210, from there all the way to there, meaning that it's going to be 210 minus a uh, 180. Because we know that from this point all the way to that point is 180. Okay? Yeah, that's what we have to understand. So if we say 210 minus 180, what are we going to get? We're going to get a 30. Meaning that in this case, the terminal angle which we are looking for is 30 degrees. Okay? So, what we have to do now here is, we have found that the terminal angle is 45. We know that cot is 1 over tan. So it's going to be tan 45. So we know that tan 45 is... Uh, is 1. Okay? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say that 1 divided by what? 1. This is going to give us 1. But we have to check. This 315, it was in what? In the th uh, fourth quadrant. So in the fourth quadrant, we know that tan is negative in the fourth quadrant, meaning that this one is supposed to put a negative because we know that in the first quadrant, all three glaciers, they have got what? They are positive. Then in the second one, only a sign is positive, the rest is negative. In the second one, in the second one, or in the third one, in this quadrant, the tan is positive, the rest is negative. In this one, the cos is um, positive, the rest is negative. So, the exact value for cot 7 pi over 4 is just basically 1. So, this is how you find the exact value of quad 7 pi over 4. Okay.